All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to begin by giving our praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Hakodash. Yahweh, that's the name of the Heavenly Father, and Yahweh Shah is the name of His only begotten Son, who the world know as Jesus Christ. And I want to give double honors to all the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, whom we learn this truth from. And I want to say Shalom to the hopefully elect. And today, you know, this message is going to be titled. His foot shall slip, you know, going into the destruction of Esau Edom by the way of World War III and the return of our Lord Yahweh Shai with the host of heavens to destroy America. I'm going to start right here in the book of Ezekiel, chapter 35 and verse 2. Son of man, set thy face against Mount Seir and prophesy against it. And we know Mount Seir. It's a people before it's a place. And that is going to these Edomites and their rulership, their government system. Hey, the Lord tell you, uh, the earth is giving it to the hand of the wicked. And that's who's running things right now. The uh, the white boy, the, the Edomite, you see. And the Lord told us to set our face against these devils and prophesy against it. You know, to tell them that the destruction of America is soon to come by the way of World War Three. And our Lord Yahweh Shah. Verse 3. And say unto it, Thus saith the Lord Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shah, Behold, O Mount Seir, I am against thee, and I will stretch out mine hand against thee, and I will make thee most desolate. And Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shah is going to make this devil most desolate by the way of those nuclear missiles. For all the rape, rob, and murdering that they have been doing for centuries, you know, toward the nation of Israel. You see? They got you niggas completely bugged out. And they have wickedness throughout the four corners of the earth set on high. And they tell you uh, their sins have reached into heaven. So thus with violence shall this place go down. Thus said the Lord, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah. And it says, I will lay thy cities waste, and thou shalt be desolate, and thou shalt know that I am the Lord, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah. You see? So the Lord said, He's going to lay this place desolate for all the wickedness that you have been doing, man. And by the way of what? World War III. And He's going to use those Russians to do it. And you see, uh, right now they have the war going on over there and, um, with those Israelis and those um, Ara Amalek and Ishmael, you see? And that's the least of the flock shall draw them out because America has been um, backing Israel, the Israelis, and Russia has been backing Hamas and Iran. And ultimately, that's going to lead into World War Three. And it's just a matter of time before it all um, unfolds until World War Three, and right in the midst of you people's face. This is, matter of fact, I'm going to grab this first. Book of Daniels. To verse 11. Yep, and this is going to that statue. Matter of fact, I read down this is the book of Daniel, chapter 2, and verse um, 31. Thou, O king, sawest, and behold, a great image. This image whose brightness was excellent stood before thee, and the form thereof was terrible. The image's head was a fine gold. This is going into the ancient Babylonian Empire. His breast and his arms of silver, uh, the breast and the arms being of uh, silver, that's going into the, um, the Medo-Persian Empire. 
So his belly and his thighs, brass, going down into the um his breast salaki. He says his belly and his thighs of brass that's going into the um the um the Greeks Empire. And they all was taken down. It says his legs of iron, his feet of his feet, part of iron and part of clay. And that's going into the um the ancient Roman Empire and it has been restored today. That's that part clay, you see? And it says Thou sawest till that a stone was cut out without hands, and that's Yahweh Shai, and smote the image upon his feet that were of iron and clay and break them to pieces. And that's what our Lord Yahweh Shai is going to do. He's going to smite America by the way of uh, Jacob's trouble. You see? Uh, World War Three. And Yahweh Shai and the angels are going to return in the midst of World War III. It's going to finish this place off. You see? And want to get um, just the book of Revelations, chapter 14, and verse. Oops, like Revelations 11 and 14. Cause these are the times we're in, man. We see these things ramping up. It says, Revelations 11 and 14, the second woe is past, and behold, the third woe cometh quickly. You see? So uh, uh, World War I, World War II has been passed, and it said the third woe cometh quickly. And we see it. And this is going to be, by the way, of uh, fire and brimstone. Book of Isaiah chapter 9 and verse 5. And it says, for every battle of the warrior is with confused noise and garments rolled in blood. And that's that ancient way of battling. You know, uh, like King David them fought uh, swords and shields. You watch the movie 300. Swords and shields. A TV show called The Vikings. Swords and shields. Hand-to-hand -hand comeback. And it says... And it says, and garments rolled in blood because it was up close and personal. And it says, but this shall be with burning and fuel of fire. You see? And that's going to be because of the way of those ICBM missiles. That's why this is going to be um, with burning and fuel of fire. So we we just playing the waiting game right now. We're going to continue to prophesy until uh, Yahweh Bashim Al-Shah bring the family of the word. That he um, he um, unveiled his karagma upon the face of the earth, and World War Three um, pops off. You see, and America is gonna get wiped off the face of the earth. Thus say of Yahweh by Shem Al Shai. And it's gonna be by the way, once again, like I said, other Russians, as Isaiah thirteen and verse seventeen, it says, "Behold." I will stir up the Medes against them which shall not regard silver, and as for gold, they shall not delight in it. And the Medes is a dark sand for the Babylonians. When you go and do your homework, you see? And they said they got, they're got they not going to delight in silver or gold. And you see, a, a Russia has to drop the American dollar. They created their own currency, and they have their followers. You know, they're um, allies as well, uh, following suit. You see, everybody's going digital, and that's the momentum here on Earth where that karagma is going to be on the forefront. And he's going to cause everyone to get it. He says, their bows also shall dash the young men to pieces. This is going to those ICBM nuclear missiles. And they shall have no pity on the fruit of the womb, their eyes shall not spare children. And you see, those missiles don't have feelings. And you can get on YouTube right now, and you can just see the disaster that those missiles are doing to those um, Palestinians right now, man. Elder put it in the group chat to where um, 
all these missiles that those Israelis has been shooting at Palestine, been blowing up uh, their homes and buildings, and they're pulling children from rubble, bones sticking out their legs, dust all over them. They shaking like a beaten dog. Hey, that's the 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 spirit of Yahweh by Shem Al Shai, man. It, 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 it's sad to look at, man. And this is what's finna come to two thirds of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and every heathen over here in America, man. And to you Israelites first for not want to hearken unto the word of Yahweh by Hashem man. Verse 19. And Babylon, the glory of kingdoms, the beauty of Chaldea's excellency, shall be as when the Heavenly Father overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. And we know how the Heavenly Father overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah by the way of fire and brimstone. And, and that's how America is going to be destroyed by the way of a fire and brimstone. Those nuclear missiles, man, is going to melt this place off the face of the earth. Verse 20. And it shall never be inhabited. That's, that's why the Lord said he's going to make it most desolate. You see, all those other kingdoms from the past, from the Babylonians, they were taken down. That's, and, and Babylon today, that would be Iraq. You had the uh, ancient media uh, and, and Iraq is still here today. You see? So that's how you know. This is talking about uh, America. This is the new Babylon, the daughter of Babylon. It shall never be inhabited. That's what's going to make this place the most desolate. Neither shall it be dwelt in from generation to generation. Neither shall the Arabia pitch tent there. Neither shall the shepherds make their fold. No one will ever live here again. But the wild beasts of the desert shall lie there, and their houses shall be full of doleful creatures, and owls shall dwell there, and satires shall dance there. And the wild beasts of the island shall cry in their desolate houses, and dragons in their pleasant palaces, and her time is near to come, and her days shall not be prolonged. Hey, so her time is near to come. The only thing we're doing is waiting on our Lord, Yahweh by Hashem al to fulfill every prophecy. You see? Because every word of the Lord shall stand. And we, it's just a waiting game right now. And we see the times we're in. We're measuring the time diligently in itself. And it's only a matter of time before it happens. This is, as a matter of fact, Yep, this is um, the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 32 and verse 35. And it says, to me belong a vengeance and recompense. So vengeance and recompense belongs unto Yahweh by Hashem al Shai. It says, their foot shall slide in due time. For the day of their calamity is at hand. And the things that shall come upon them make haste. You see, the Lord said, their foot shall slide in due time. And it's cold when you go into Revelation 13 and 2. It tell you how the bow was going to, um, is, is the uh, foot of this beast. And, and that's going to be the downfall of America, which is the rush of that bear. You see, which is going to cause their foot to, to slide in due time. As a matter of fact, I'm going to get that. Let's see what their foot say. You know what I'm saying? But there's a word for um It says, and their foot shall slide. When you get that word shall slide, H4131. It says to totter, shake, slip, to be shaken, be moved, be overthrown. And it tell you, it say to be shaken, be moved. It tell you how the earth is going to reel to and fro when those nuclear missiles drop over here in America, man. To be overthrown. When you go to the word overthrow, it's going to the uh, destruction, uh, demolition. And that's going to be, that's how America is going to be demolished by the way of nuclear missiles. To dislodge, let the fall drop. You see? To dislodge, never to be inhabited again.
You said dislodge, knock, or force out of position. You see, remove. America will be knocked and forced out of the position, out of that ruler seat. You see, displace, knock out of place. To drive out, get rid of. Yeah, how about Shimao Shah from to get rid of this devil, man? To overturn him. To drum out by the way of those missiles. That loud doo 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 is finna get drummed out, man. Expel or dismiss someone from a place or institution. America is finna get wiped off the face of the earth. And the last two be greatly shaken. And that's gonna be by the way of those nuclear missiles. You see? And it says, and the things that shall come upon them make haste. Hey, like I said, her time is uh near to come you see so we just waiting on you how about shim out shot hey to uh to uh to judge this whore man and it uh, great is going to be her fall and i'm gonna close it out right here this is the book of zephaniah chapter 3 and verse 8 therefore wait ye upon me saith the lord yahweh by shim out shot so that's what we're doing we waiting on yahweh by shim out shot praying and hoping in his mercy that he keep us and bless us to be a part of his elect. Because, hey, it's just a matter of time before the Lord fulfill his perfect will, which is destroying America off the face of the earth. And it says, Therefore wait ye upon me, said the Lord, until the day that I rise up to the prey. For my determination is to gather the nations that I may assemble the kingdoms going into World War III. How he's going to gather the nations over there in the Middle East. You see, it says that I may assemble the kingdoms to pour upon them my indignation. And the Lord's uh, righteous anger, even all my fierce anger for all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy and the whole Landmass of America, of America, will be wiped off the face of the earth. Thus said the Lord, Yahweh Bahashim Al Shah, and her time is uh, near to come. So the message to you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans repent and return back into Yahweh Bahashim Al Shah because, hey, if not, you're going to get caught up in the um, destruction of this whore. The book of Isaiah, chapter 55 and verse 6. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. And now is the time where the Lord can be found. You see? While he is still near. While he has the apostles and elders and all the brethren who fallen in their rank and order. Teaching the 100% doctrine of Yahweh by Hashem Al-Shah. Are still out on the highways and byways. Are still able to upload videos. And hey, now is the time to be seeking the Lord. Because hey, the family of the word will come, and then once hey, this word is stopped being pushed, persecution come, hey, it's going to be every man for himself and God for us all, as the brother Yeshaya like to bring out. And it says, let the wicked forsake his way, and the unrighteous man his thoughts, and let him return unto the Lord, and he will have mercy upon him and to our powers, for he will abundantly pardon you see, so the Lord said, if you wicked, forsake your way, repent and return unto your Yahweh by Shem Al Shai. He will have mercy upon you and pardon your sins because that's what we're looking for. Yahweh by Shem Al Shai to pardon our sins because we don't know what we've done in our past lives. And we know we was wicked as hell on this side before the Lord revealed his truth unto us. So now it's the time to be trying to get right before the Lord bring brings his destruction into america and you be left here without answers and die here a grievous death apparitions teeth of wild beasts newly created creatures your neighbor a concentration camp beheaded hey the lord has numerous ways of killing you see he has many spirits created for vengeance so now is the time to re repent and return back into Yahweh by Shema and Shai and beg for his mercy so he will abundantly pardon your sins. So, hey, Lord willing, this video is edifying unto you, brothers and sisters. 
I'm going to end it off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Chahakudash. Double honors to all the apostles and elders of the great millstone who we learn the truth from. And shalom to the hopefully late.